When we talked about cremation, remember you talked about the burial of the body and what happens on the third day, the ninth day, the fortieth day, one year later. So when cremation takes place, what happens with the subtle bodies? They depart very fast. Does it somehow affect a person? If we don't perform all these Christian rites, a person will depart very fast along the fire channel, and afterwards it depends on the existential volume of a person. The more significant the existential volume, the more high a person will pass. That is, it is easier for him to pass to other realms. A significant existential volume is like a heavy ball. When we throw a heavy ball, it flies quite far, whereas if we take a light ball, it won't fly that far, since the inertial force won't be sufficient. Accordingly, he could get stuck in some egregore, including egregores of the human realm. And in this case, until he gets out of that realm, he becomes a ghoul, a phantom, a ghost. He gets stuck in the astral space and becomes a restless soul, meaning he's neither here nor there, since his existential volume is very low. He can't pass beyond the limbo, beyond the egregorial layer. He just can't be pulled into that space. It is precisely in order to prevent such issues that all of the major religions invented common religious holidays during which they do a ritual all together, that is a joint prayer. When a hundred thousand churches across the land start ringing in tune, a very powerful funnel is created that covers all and everyone. It affects people and it affects disembodied spirits even more so. And along this open channel, everyone is being removed from the space.